Good bright sunny morning. Out here uh, gonna just do a little short video about uh, timber trinkets. Um, and I've got some. I want to show you what happens when you're uh, cutting timber around homes and it's really pretty common. Hardware. This uh, this is where you can see right here. There's still wire coming right there. Of course, I cut that with the chain. <laughs> uh, there's a ring of wire still inside that round from. Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, probably, well, I would say close to a hundred years ago, somebody wrapped, somebody wrapped a wire around this tree and it grew over it, around it. Um, I was bucking this log and you see the stain clears up over here. No stain, but uh, I found it when I was bucking it, <laughs> of course. But that's not all. There was wire around that limb that was deep inside the, the log, as well as that one. This all came off, well, a log about 14 and 8... 20 some feet uh, all this hardware came out of uh, that one tree and of course uh, some of uh, this wire was exposed to where it was sticking out and you could find it uh, but like that that was hidden way down inside there uh, and I believe I finally got it all I'll show you the two logs that that came out of oh <laughs> oh and then there's this <laughs> I found this last night. No telling. So, five inches at least inside of that is an insulator. I was bucking this down to a 12.6 uh, for a customer that is buying a few saw logs, uh, cutting pine lumber. So, I hit it when I was cutting this way, of course. And I go, ah, oh. and I could see down in the kerf of the cut that um, I was probably going to miss it. If I move back this way, I might be able to split that and, and <laughs> well, it didn't work. Because I moved back, and I didn't move back far enough, because I didn't know that it was an insulator, that the screw is going down in there. So I hit it there. I, I, uh. Demolished two different chains. They're salvageable, but it'll take quite a bit of grinding to get them back to where they are. But that is also grown. This is from a completely different job. Uh, and I'm going to try this morning to uh, square this off and still leave some trim. It's being bucked for a 12-6 saw log. I think I can square it off here and and miss that. Uh, we'll see. Still leave three or four inches of trim. Anyway, pretty interesting. So I was going to show you these two logs that that I was trying to uh, I was trying to keep this a long log. And I thought, well, I'll have to buck that out of there. Anyway, I I still buck this one. This short one's an 8.6. And there's still quite a few boards in it. But you see the devastation I had to do to the scaling cylinder just to get that out of there. Um, this one, uh, I thought I had it all cleaned out. So I'm going over these with the metal detector. I thought I was all through. Um... And I wasn't, 
I found that second uh, and that's kind of devastated too also uh, but I, but I found that second um, so this I took out last year it might have been where that copper wire was uh, last fall when I cut this tree I, I got that out of there so I was going over it with a metal detector and lo and behold this right here is where that a uh, big spike came out of yesterday and I caught that with a metal detector. I think she's clean now but uh, there was no see, no way to see that. Uh, there was no metal sticking out, no wire sticking out of the tree or anything and so uh, <laughs> what a what a blessing to have the metal detector find it. So this was a big old tree. It was in one of the videos from last fall, right beside that big red house and uh, a big red tree. Not very good. Uh, uh, worst part about it is I did that job real cheap because the people said they didn't have any money and uh, I'm kind of paying for it, but hopefully I'll be able to sell what's salvageable out of those logs. There's still quite a few boards in them. Well, I better get back to work. Got a guy coming to get a few of these saw logs today. Catch you next time.